Now in this example we've got the function g of x where g of x equals 2x minus 3 all over x minus 1. x is any real number except 1. We're asked to find the inverse function of g. Just to say that yx cannot equal 1, if it did you'd have 0 on the bottom and you cannot divide by 0, you get an undefined value. So that's the reason, as I say, why x isn't 1. So how do we find the inverse function of g? Well what we need to do is replace the g of x by x, so we say let x equal and any x's over here are replaced now by a y, so we have 2y minus 3 over y minus 1. And what we need to do is to now make y the subject. So I'll multiply first of all both sides by y minus 1 so that I can remove that from the denominator here. So we'd have x multiplied by y minus 1 equals 2y minus 3. Now I need to expand the bracket so if we do that we get xy minus x equals 2y minus 3. Now I'm going to bring the terms containing y to the same side and remove this minus x. So I will subtract 2y from both sides and add x to both sides. What we get now is going to be xy minus 2y equals x minus 3 pull out y as a common factor and we have y equals x minus 2 and that equals x minus 3. Divide both sides by x minus 2 and that gives me y is equal to x minus 3 all divided by x minus 2. All I need to do now is just replace the y with g to the minus 1 of x. So therefore we've got the inverse function of g, g to minus 1 of x equals x minus 3 all over x minus 2. And if we're asked to state the domain of this, the domain would be any real number except 2 because that would make the denominator here 0, so x cannot equal 2. Okay, that brings us now to the end of this example.